Okay, here we go. Hopefully final video for the Asteroids Deluxe Cabaret. I don't know, rebuild, not really a restore, I guess. Partial restore. So recap. Machine started out as an Asteroids Deluxe when it was made. When I got it, it had been converted to a bootleg Miss Pac-Man, which was running a color monitor mounted vertically, which is wrong. Um, the only original wiring left was basically the power cord and the power switch, and the uh, control panel wiring was original. Everything else had been removed and a switcher with wiring harness um, for the bootleg Miss Pac-Man which was not JAMA was put in so I tore all that out I bought a black and white vector monitor I bought a new control panel overlay I bought a new marquee panel uh, I actually bought a new coin door shell because the one that was on there had holes drilled in it for a lock bar. Um, I bought an Asteroids wiring harness. I already had an Asteroids PCB. I bought an Asteroids power brick, an Asteroids wiring harness for an upright. Um, let me see, I bought some new white buttons. Those are the original volcano buttons that came with the cabinet. I made my own black cardboard bezel. It's a bit thicker than it should be because it's the, the black material I had on hand. Um, but you can't, I mean, you can't even see it in there. Well actually the camera makes it look like you can see kind of a bleed from the lights on the black background but you can't with the naked eye. So yeah it's now fully up and working. I made replacement structural pieces for the cabinet that were missing. I added made uh, copied my other asteroid select cabaret to make the panel that has a fluorescent tube light that lights up the reproduction marquee panel uh, so there we go that's this project done so hopefully I will be able to list this on Craigslist and sell it I will be losing so I don't know somewhere between 150 and 200 dollars easy on the sale because it's more expensive to buy the parts and put a vector game together than it is to buy an entire working vector game. But it was just bugging me because I love Atari games and I love cabarets and the fact that this had been turned into a bootleg Miss Pac-Man and the cabinet had a bunch of structural damage was just driving me mad. So I, I wanted to save it and it, it took me a while. The last problem I had was um, monitor related and it basically just turned out to be um, there's a couple potentiometers on the monitor um, one of them was a bit touchy and finicky so the position it was in the screen was acting very oddly and it turned out that all I had to do is uh, just adjust that and it's now a steady screen. Um, I also adjusted the position of the screen by the metal rings on the yoke to get it centered on the tube and the size of the game image on the PCB so it's pretty much as big as it can get fitting everything on the screen So, there we go. Oh, 
Focus. 